Tim here. Welcome back to EDU in 90. Earlier this month, we hosted the Anywhere School, a global online event celebrating teachers and bringing together education leaders from around the world for panels and keynotes. We also shared quite a few updates to popular tools like Classroom, Assignments, and Meet. And on this episode, we'll give a rundown of those highlights. Let's check it out. We're committed to making Google Classroom the simplest and most efficient tool for managing learning in any class, whether in person or remote. We recently launched major improvements to the to-do list functionality, and students are now able to more easily track what's upcoming, what's missing, and what's done. We've also rolled out link-based sharing, which makes it easier to have someone join a class, especially if messaging tools like WhatsApp are popular in your community. Next up, Assignments, which is now available to all users. Assignments is an add-on application for your LMS that gives educators a faster, simpler way to distribute, analyze, and grade student work, all through the collaborative power of G Suite integrated with your learning management system. Later this season, we'll take a deeper look at Assignments, but check out the links below in the meantime for resources on how to get started. Originality reports, available in both classroom and assignments, save instructors time by analyzing student work for missing citations and potential plagiarism. All users can now turn on originality reports for up to five assignments per class, and those with G Suite Enterprise for Education licenses can take advantage of unlimited runs as well as school matches, which look across a secure school-owned repository of work for potential plagiarism between students. You can also now print and save originality reports for easy sharing. Let's now take a look at Google Meet updates. We know that privacy and security are always top of mind. So we shared several new features to help there, including enhanced privacy with custom or blurred backgrounds. Also, many of you have some pretty sizable classes and needed more than a four x four grid to see all of your students. So we're launching a larger tiled seven x seven view so you can see your entire class at once with up to 49 people on the same screen. We also announced Smart Compose and AutoCorrect for Docs and rolled out grammar suggestion tools in Spanish. At long last, Minecraft Education Edition is now available on Chromebooks, and we shared new interoperability between G Suite for Education and Family Link. Check out the blogs below for all the announcements, including details about those that are coming later this year. Be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Check out our last episode as we kick off season seven with updates on applied digital skills, resources from the conscious kid, and more.